You guys have probably seen my homemade pressure pot. Well, it's a bit small, so it's time for an upgrade. Although this pressure pot has served me well and I've never had a drama with it, it's just too small. So I'm getting into doing some larger castings now. So I've decided to upgrade to a paint pressure pot and today I'm going to show you how to modify it for resin casting. So the whole idea of a paint pressure pot is you put 10 litres of paint in there, you hook a compressor up to it, you set your pressure, you run your lines with a gun on the end and you can spray for ages without needing to refill the pot. To modify this lid for resin casting, it's super easy. Where your regulator screws in, you need to take that out because we no longer need it. And on the paint outlet side, I've added a ball valve. So that way when we're adding air, we can open it and then once it's filled, we can shut it off and take the air off. On your regulator, just unscrew your pressure gauge and take off your safety relief valve. So now that you've taken the regulator off, you're just left with this T adapter in here. So on one side you want to put your pressure gauge and on the other side put your pressure relief valve. Now make sure you put some pipe sealant or thread tape on there, that way you don't get any leaks. So we've got more room in the casting pot, we can cut off this inlet tube because we no longer need it. So I did a pressure test and it turns out I had a faulty ball valve, so I've swapped that out to this one, now it works great. I've also cut off the suction tube. So now I'll pull some resin and we'll give it a test. So I just grabbed myself a little silicon mold so we can do a test. And I've also got a piece of burl off cut that I'll chuck inside. I've taken a silicon tray and just put it in the bottom here. That way if any resin spills over, it won't ruin your pot. Now all that's left is to close it up and we'll add some pressure. Now the manufacturer recommends that you don't exceed 50 psi on this one and that's what the relief valve is set at so we'll run with that for this cast and we'll see what we get. So we're at 50 psi, I'm going to leave this overnight, we'll come back tomorrow. So it's now the next day and you can see here that we've kept our 50 psi so we know we've got no leaks so now let's release the air and check our casting. Well, it looks like we've got a tiny amount of bubbles on the top here. We actually got the same pattern on both of them. So let's pop them out and we'll have a look. So apart from those couple of bubbles on top, which have forced them to the surface, but for some reason they didn't pop, this is a really clear casting. You can see the burl inside of there looks great. So you can see how easy this is to modify. Just take the regulator off, put your pressure gauge on and your relief valve, and on your inlet side, all you need is your air adapter and your ball valve. They even gave me this cool handle to screw on the top. Well that's all for this week's video. If it's your first time here and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I put new how-to and build videos out every couple of weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.